Good day, everyone. I'm Teacher Michelle, your science teacher. Come and explore the wonderful world of science, because in science, it's not just magic, it's real. Hello, everyone. Oops. Today's lesson is about Designing Recyclable Materials into Useful Products. Science 5, Quarter 1, Week 6. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe how people manage their waste through the 5 R's Reduce, Reuse, Recycle, Repair, or Recover. Recognize the importance of Reduce, Reuse, Recycle, Repair, or Recover in Waste Management. And design products out of recyclable solid or liquid materials to make useful products. Let's review. Direction. Draw a happy face if the picture shows a recycled material and a sad face if it's not. Let us answer. For the first picture, it is a happy face because it is a recycled material. Second picture, yes, a happy face. Third picture, sad face. Fourth, it's a sad face. And fifth, happy face. Now, we are going to discuss the part 1 of this module. How can we manage our waste? The 5 R's technique. Lesson 1. What's in? Direction. Study the pictures of the new products created or made and identify what common materials are used. As you can see, these products are made up of recyclable waste materials such as can, used magazine, plastic straws, cardboards, and sticks. What's new? The following shows the application of 5 R's. Label them correspondingly with reduced, reused, recycled, repaired, or recovered. What is it? What are the different ways of managing waste? What are the specific materials that can be reduced, reused, recycled, repaired, or recovered? There are strategies that can be used in handling waste materials found in our homes and community. This technique is composed of five ways we can manage our waste and known as the 5 R's. The first R is reducing. It means decreasing the number of materials to be used. For example, buying rechargeable batteries instead of disposable batteries for our gadgets. This way, we can minimize waste and save money at the same time. We can also buy products in bigger packs than those packed in small sachets. Small sachets prevent excessive use of products but it can increase the production of non-biodegradable waste. Another example is using alternative materials such as eco bags instead of plastic cellophane to minimize waste from plastics.
The second R is reusing. It means to use again the materials for the same purpose such as using old but usable clothes. Or, you can donate your old clothes and other useful materials to some organizations that conduct relief operations during calamities. The third R is Recycling. It means producing new product out of discarded materials such as making decorations like vase or figurine from used or scrap papers. Recycling is different from reusing. When we say recycling, it produces a new material out of discarded ones, while reusing uses the same material again for the same or different purpose. For example, plastic bottle can be reused as container of other liquids or materials. However, plastic bottles can also be recycled to form a new product. Recycling prevents wastage of a material that can actually be useful for a different purpose. It also reduces the use of raw materials. The fourth R is recovering. It means making the most out of the waste by regenerating energy, such as using peelings of fruits and vegetables as plant fertilizers. Well, the fifth R is repairing. It means fixing broken things so that they can be used again, such as sewing and mending old clothes. As a whole, the 5 R's technique helps in minimizing garbage and to solve or prevent environmental problems such as pollution in air, water, and land. Now, Think of some situations in your home or community that you have observed or experienced that use the 5R technique. Have you practiced using the 5Rs technique at home? How about in your community? If yes, you and your family are certainly caring for the environment. Congratulations! Hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video.